Hey everybody, welcome back to another Gravity Ace devlog. I'm back on the wagon after a bit of a hiatus. I started doing these last December, then things kind of fell apart in March and April, and I switched to live streaming. But live streaming and short form devlogs are really completely different mediums, and I wanted to get back into this again. So what better time than on the anniversary of my very first devlog? So today, I wanted to show you how I do level transitions in Gravity Ace. Here's what they look like in the game. If you watch closely, you'll see the curtains closing on the current scene, and then they open, revealing the new scene. The scene switch happens just as the curtains close and cover the entire screen so you can't see the switch. It works just like it does in a real theater. The curtains close, a bunch of people clear the stage, they set up the next scene, and then the curtains open again. The technique I'm using is based on a simple shader. Why a shader? Uh, using this code, I was able to experiment with many different types of curtains just by changing the texture I feed to the shader. And I can run the whole animation with a single static image and let the shader do the animating for me. That way I didn't have to create a bunch of animation frames for each curtain. It saved me a lot of time, and I think it looks pretty great. Since the shader is so important, let's start there. It's pretty tiny. The shader has a uniform called cutoff, which I animate later a transition texture, which I can fill in with the actual texture I want to use for the curtains, and a color, which will become the color of the curtains, black in this case. In the shader world, a uniform is basically just a variable that you can pass into the shader. What it does is it takes the cutoff and compares it to the red channel in the texture for each pixel. If the red channel is greater than the cutoff, then it just shows whatever's on the screen. It becomes transparent. Otherwise, it shows the color that was passed in. So by animating the cutoff from 0 to 1, or 1 to 0, the shader automatically either shows black or becomes transparent. Darker areas in the texture will become black first, and white areas will become black last as the cutoff goes from 0 to 1. Here are some of the textures I experimented with for the transitions. Okay, on to the nodes and scene setup. I first created a scene called Game that I use as an autoload or a singleton. Auto loads are scripts or whole scenes that are loaded automatically by the game and you can reference them from any other script uh, via a name that you give it. In this case I have a game scene that has a lot of helper functions including my level transition nodes and code. And here's the node setup. There are a few crucial pieces here. First, the game scene pause mode is set to process. This ensures that even when the game is paused, the game scene and its children will continue running and processing events. Next, the transition node is a canvas layer. That's important because canvas layer nodes always display in the active camera, and I set the layer of the node high enough so that it will always cover everything else in the game. Next, there's the transition animation node, which is an animation player. You can see the animation player timeline at the bottom of the screen. It has a single animation called fade in out, which runs the curtain animation itself. You can see from the timeline that the animation has two halves. In the first half, it animates the cutoff variable from zero to one. And in the second half, it animates it from one back down to zero. And exactly at the halfway point, it calls a method called halfway. That method's only job is to emit a signal called transition halfway. So how do I use it? From anywhere in the game, I just call game.transition and give it a scene file that I want to switch to. That method pauses the game, starts the animation playing, then it waits until the halfway point is reached by yielding until the halfway signal is emitted. At exactly that point, when the curtains are fully closed, it changes the scene and unpauses the game. The curtains continue opening and we're in the new scene after a slick curtain animation. And that's it. Just a few lines of code, a pretty simple node setup, and we have a slick looking visual to accompany scene transitions. And I can change the entire feel of the transition by just changing a single texture. So it's December 2020, and I would love it if you guys would give me an early Christmas present and subscribe to the channel. I'm at 917 subscribers right now, and it would be just awesome if I could reach 1,000 by Christmas. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please ask questions in the comments below, or come join my Discord server, or come join a Twitch live stream for a more in-depth discussion. 
All the links are on gravityace.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.